the monies we have actually spent, the revenue we have generated from petroleum in the last 10 years, I, I, just, I, don't, want to be, I, I don't want to get into the discussion of, of taxes. I miss your e-levy and all that. Yeah. But it's been so much, but there's been very weak policy planning by successive governments. What we are suffering today is a function of weak policy making by successive governments. Petroleum has just been seen as a cash cow by most governments. They have lost their sense of assessment as far as the socioeconomic implication and place of petroleum is. Government today is raising close to 7 billion Ghana cities in, in petroleum taxes. This is 7 billion cities? Yes. Actually, annually? Annually. I mean, it's supposed to be more. Um, there's a lot of leakage that's going on. I think possibly another billion and a half to two billion could be generated. That's more than the e-levy is anticipated. No, no, absolutely. I mean, petroleum, petroleum accounts for, uh, it's account around for around 12% of our total domestic tax revenue. It's a very important um, tax generating feature in our tax or our fiscal structure. Government see the revenue side and sometimes lose sight on the social implications for it. So what I would have expected governments to have done for the revenue that we have here, because we know there will definitely be a future problem, what we should rather have been doing is investing in diversifying and deepening our mass transportation sector, which will make the implication for these minimal increases very, very little. I was on your set the last time. I said, it makes no sense that in this country, after, what, 65 years of independence thereabout, we can't boast of a rail that's connecting Dodowa all the way to Circle, connecting anywhere around Adan to Trutema, all the way to Kaswa. The Nexus, we've not been able to connect anything. Go to Kumasi, it's a disaster. We all have to depend on the roads, we all have to depend on our trotters, which are more expensive to run. When you went to school in London, tell, tell everybody, where were you riding? Didn't you see members of parliament in the tube? Yeah. You know, the implications are less. They are minimal. They are more within the control of government. So you can't control fossil fuel prices because Ghana is not a maker of prices. It's not it's just a taker. Our production is a drop in the ocean. Our consumption is a drop in the ocean. It's meaningless. So nothing there will change the dynamics of the world market price. 